Hard to pick. What are your future plans? Well, looking good. Yeah. Well, you know, we. <laughs> it's it's funny because when we first started collecting these items, it was because we loved Elvis. Mm -hmm. We had no plans yeah. for an exhibit. You know, we had no plans to do this. You know, and travel the world. We just love Elvis, you know, and wanted to, something that Elvis owned, and one thing led to another. And the thing is, when you have so much that you start accumulating, you have to start realizing that this is more than just a record collection or a magazine collection. These are artifacts. These are part of Elvis history, and Elvis history is so, um, I mean, El here we are 30 years after his death, and we're still, you know, celebrating Elvis's life. <laughs> And a um, hundred years from now, when everyone's gone, whoever lived in Elvis's lifetime, Elvis will be looked at um, like a, um, uh, you know, as George Washington, you know what I mean? Somebody that, folklore, you know, but people will still want to know about him and, and the private side of him and be interested in seeing the, these, these personal artifacts. So we look at ourselves as um, keepers of, of, of national treasure, in our opinion, and we really are sincere about that. But Part of the fun is owning it, but the other part is sharing it with people who appreciate Absolutely. it the way we do. Nothing uh, thrills us more than to see people come through and admire what we have stored in our bank mm -hmm. vaults and in our display cabinets at home for all these years. So to us, it's very fulfilling. So our plans are to, you know, try to take this. You know, here we are finally out of the country with it, and since we've been here, we've gotten uh, requests from many countries all over the world to bring this exhibit to their country so we're hoping to possibly we're going back to the United States from here but we, we hope to come back and do a world tour but uh, you know in 2004 we we formed the corporation and got everything together in 2005 we went to uh, Dallas Texas State Fair we didn't know what to expect we kept saying God I hope people come and you know enjoy it we had over 110,000 people come through and that's that that was like amazing a shock to us and, and that told us you know what people want to see this so when we got the word that we were going to come here I cannot tell you how excited and honored we were to come over to Germany and bring Elvis here it, it just you know we, we've had people go through the exhibit and when they were finished they come to thank us and they have tears in their eyes uh, there was a gentleman uh, a photographer who took famous photos of the Berlin Wall, and they're now in uh, Washington. And he wrote a letter to us, and it said, uh, on August 13th, 1961, the Berlin Wall went up. On August 13th, 2007, your exhibit opened up. I go home with a smile on my face. And that, that just, that just says it all. Oh. I'd like to tell you that uh, I'd like to tell everyone out there that that um, we've never felt a more warm welcome. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, you know, absolutely. I've been here one other time before without the exhibit. You know, and that's a little bit different because you know, people are coming in and we're we're getting interaction from people. And I'll be honest with you, um, we you never know what to expect because the culture, the difference in cultures. You know, some some cultures are more enthusiastic, some are more reserved. And, uh, you know, um, we respect them all, but when we got here, we've never met, the, the people here are the nicest people. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, anything they can do to help uh, and, 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 and make this a, a success, and the people are friendly. and, and uh, They made us feel at home. They it's, really It's did. just incredible. So, I mean, we're so happy that, uh, that the people came out. We've had people come to us that, you know, Elvis was stationed here when he was in the Army. So so people are coming that saw him in Bed-Nauheim yeah. and with photos and autographs and, and, and reliving their, you know, piece of Elvis' life, uh, you know, when he was over here. And it's so nice to be able to connect um, with fans here, you know, because as an American, uh, we sometimes take for granted huh. what we had. Absolutely. And we come here and we Absolutely. realize that we, we have it all right there. And there are people on, on the other side of the globe who love Elvis just as much and don't have the access to a lot we do, you know, was on the other side of the world from Elvis for most of his career. And uh, it gives you a greater appreciation for, you know, what we do have and what we have 
you know, had at the time with Elvis. And uh, it makes us even, it gives us even more joy to know that we, we are bringing, you know, the Elvis uh, experience to people who may not see it otherwise. There was an older woman uh, the other day who came up to me and said, when I was a teenager, I had an, a record, that's when your heartaches begin. And my mother and father would not let me have it. And they took it away from me. She goes, I haven't heard it since I've been a teen teenager, and the woman's about 70 years old now. So I went over, I put the CD in, and I played it. The tears came down, so we went over and put it on a CD for her, and she went home with it. So, you know, to do something like that for somebody is just yeah. what we take for granted. You know, it's just a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.